Hello, welcome to Accounting 211. Uh, this video is just designed to give you a little background information on what's important to do in the course. So one of the things I encourage you to do is get um, you know, into the Meet the Professor um, drop-down in the course website and look at it. It has contact information about me um, and lets you put a name with a face and so on. Also, um, I would encourage you to read the syllabus, review it, look it over, make sure you understand it. A very important thing about the syllabus is that grades in this class are decided based on points, not percent. So don't sit there and think you can skip something and maybe um, the percentages will still work out. Instead, think about how many points each thing is. And if you decide you're going to skip something that's important and has a lot of points, rethink it. So let's think about what kinds of things um, generate points. First of all, there's a midterm worth 2,750 points. There's a final worth 2,750 points. Um, taken together, these two are worth more than half the total points um, that you can earn in the class. So I wouldn't skip either one. Also, I would make sure that I um, answered all of the problems. Um, I, I get frustrated with people who won't even try one of the problems. Doesn't matter to me if you don't know it. Um, if you put something down and you try your best, I'm okay. But um, it, I, I really can be frustrated if you don't even try it. To me, it's as if um, you don't think I have the right to ask you to do it. And so you'll find I won't give you a curve if, if you don't try anything. Um, the Connect homework is worth 1,400 points, 100 per assignment. These are um, Learn Smart activities plus two other things. 100 points for um, getting on the discussion board and saying that you uh, understand the syllabus. Of course, don't, under, don't say you understand it if you don't. Instead, ask a question so that by the time you um, say you understand the syllabus, you really do. Also, in this class, we have a, a weekly project that is done on Connect. And collectively, at the end of the project, all of the requirements will add up to 2,000 points. Um, several of the requirements will be more than 100. Blogs. Uh, 1,100 points. Um, these will be worth a little more than 100 points apiece. The syllabus talks in some detail about them. Don't think these are going to be um, easy and simple. Um, spend some time writing them. You'll see rubrics for each of the blogs, but often they're, they, they are several paragraphs long and simply saying yes or amen or agree or something like that it isn't going to get you the points you need. Finally, every chapter you can earn extra credit, provided you do all of the problems on the midterm and all of the problems on the final. Remember, if you don't do those, if you don't do the long problems, you can't get curves or extra credit. But as long as you do do those, you can earn up to 100 points of extra credit per chapter by doing what's called a pre-build assignment for each chapter. Here's the grading scale for the course, and remember it goes along with the point system, not the percent system. 9,000 to 10,000 points is an A. 8,000 to 899 points is a B. 7,000 to 7,999 points is a C. 6,000 to 6,999 points is a D. And anything less than 6,000 points is a failing grade in the class. Here's a recap of the kind of things you need to be on top of each week to do well. Read the chapter or chapters. This is a fast paced course. We move at 10 weeks in the summertime, so many times there's more than one chapter to read each week. Do the homework. Do the Learn Smart activity on Connect first. That's the homework. Do the project. Do the blog. Those are the four requirements each week. If there's time at the end, do extra credit.
little bit more about the exams. There's two, a midterm and a final. Um, each of them have 20 multiple choice questions and four problems. The four problems are longer. You have essay type spaces where you have to complete um, work and show me work. Remember, if you don't do any of the problems for any reason, if you leave the whole thing blank, you'll eliminate all the extra credit that was on that test. So each test covers six chapters. You'd limit all the extra credit from six chapters that you might have done. And you couldn't get a curve with the rest of the class. So please be careful um, not to skip problems. And the final exam um, you know, is the same type of test as the midterm, but it covers different chapters. Also notice the midterm window, because you'll be taking it either at a testing center or through remote proctoring, will be from Saturday, June 20th to Saturday, June 27th. And the final exam will be Saturday, July 25th through Saturday, August 1st. Here's some extra information that you might find helpful and useful as you, you know, prepare to, to succeed in the class. First, I'm offering an accounting study hall. This will have um, both online classes that I'm doing this summer and Accounting 211 and an Accounting 212 class. Um, e people from either class can come in. Um, it's 515 to 645 in room 205 of Building C. I'll be there. I have a night class starting at 7 o'clock, so I will need to end promptly around 645. I'll be having students um, coming in for that class as we're finishing the study hall. But whether you're there or whether you're not, I'll be there. So don't hesitate to come by. If you have questions about anything, need help working with um, Blackboard, just have questions about the material, don't hesitate to come by. Also, um, you can reach me any of these ways, w-c-o-n-n-e-r at t-c-c dot e-d-u. You can call or text me at my cell phone, 757-287-7829, or you can call me in the office, 757-822-2315. Um, final note about discussion boards. So I use discussion boards in the class mostly for you to ask questions of me. So it's rare that things are assigned there. You'll find the discussion board for each of the 12 chapters. And if you have a specific question about something going on in the chapter, ask there. Then I have what I call quiet side of the asteroid. And this is a general question. So People have asked me questions about the profession of accounting in, in the quiet side of the asteroid. They've asked me general questions about the weights of grades and the points that they're worth and whether they can um, do things late and, and that kind of thing. Um, class introductions are one of two things that I, I do require you to do on the discussion board here for 100 points um, in this first week of class. You tell us a little bit about yourself so that we can uh, all, all correspond a bit together. And then also, as I mentioned earlier, I need you to um, post on the discussion board and tell me that you understand the syllabus, which means if you don't, you need to talk to me and, and ask me what it is that you don't understand, and I can answer that for you. Take care, good luck with the course, and welcome.